Hey y'all, it's DX Stamp and Sharon. Welcome to Mystery Monday. I just want to make sure that you guys can hear me. Let me know. Um, absolutely, Michelle. If you have any vellum, that is just fine. I just want to make sure. Okay, I'm seeing some highs. Let's see. There we go. Yay, you can hear me. Okay, got a little worried. All right, it is Monday, October the 17th. It is, we're halfway through the month. Goodness gracious. Um, I am doing some mystery stamping tonight. If you're new to my channel, you just happen to find this video. Um, this is a totally different kind of video than what you would normally find on YouTube because normally you'd find me doing something or stamping or creating. On mystery stamping, I give you the clues for you to do the stamping at home. There you go. You're using your own supplies and everyone always loves mystery stamping. So if you're new, just sit back and watch, see what you think. And then I hope you'll join us next time, next Monday. I do it every Monday, unless it's a holiday or I'm traveling. Okay. Virginia says she's still cutting her supplies. So what she's talking about is um, every Sunday I email you out. Let's just flip this over. I email out the first clue, and that is, you know, cutting your cardstock, getting your stamp pads ready. Um, if you need dyes, this one I said, if you leaves, if you have some, and I kind of give an example. Um, there is no right or wrong way to do mystery stamping. And we do have two rules. Let's switch back over. Let's just talk about those two rules for a moment. Mm -hmm. First rule, no stress. Okay. Stamping is supposed to be fun. So mystery stamping is even funner. Is that a word? So no stress. Rule number two, you have all these pieces of paper in front of you. You have stamps, paper, and ink. If I lose you on a clue, if you don't like my clue, what do we say? Just go rogue. Just make a card. You have everything you need to make a card. Okay? So, Beth Mills says she loves the creative spirit in this group. Beth, you know what? I don't think I could have said it any better myself. Because everyone's card is going to look totally different. Everyone has picked different stamps, different paper, different inks to make their card for tonight's mystery stamping. Margaret says she made a couple of cards using the Fond of Autumn bundle today. So are you using the Fall bundle, uh, Fond of Autumn Fall? Mm -hmm. Let me try it again. <laughs> Fond of Autumn bundle for tonight's mystery stamping, Margaret. Hello, Cheryl Ann. Hi, Stephanie Gardner. Hello, Re Renee. Renee had to reboot her computer because going out and going out and back in didn't work. Oh, she's got a reboot. All right. Bye, Renee. We'll catch you. We'll catch you. We'll be here for a while. Uh, let's see. Um, Alta Glow Dobbs says, I was busy making my Creative 8 cards that I forgot to cut my stuff for mystery stamping. I will just watch tonight. That is not a problem. You guys who uh, may not have um, cut your supplies, you're new to my video, um, just sit back and watch. Just have a good evening. Um, you can join in on the chat. You do need to be logged into YouTube to chat with us during the live. Um, well, hello, Delina. I'm so glad you love my top. It is just a real thin. Okay, my new love, soft surroundings. Mm -hmm. So soft. It's it's like my new favorite place, soft surroundings. <laughs> Hello, Jane Strain, my friend. Thanks for being me on Monday Mystery Stamping. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, let's see. Lavina says she always likes to try to use older paper that's laying around when she's doing mystery stamping. Um, where did she go, you guys? So Michelle says she's using stuff on hand. So that's just it. You know, um, after mystery stamping is over, we do have a Facebook group and everyone loves to post their cards over there. Um, ah, I will make sure that the link is below the video. So speaking of below the video, if you guys um, need anything, you need to contact me, you need to shop, you need to find my blog, you need to find anything, always look below all of my videos and all the links are there. So let's get started. 
Clue number two. So wait a minute, before we go, I asked y'all to have a splatter stamp. I gave you an example. It can be big splatters, little splatters. If you don't have any splatters, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. But I, if you have a splatter, use the splatter type stamps. And I want you to stamp on the top right and the bottom center. And you know what? Bottom center of the basic white or very vanilla that you chose that is five and a half by eight and a half with ink. Okay, so we're gonna pretend, well, here's our card, but you can't see it. So we're gonna stamp up here with some splatters and down here with some splatters. Okay, so top and bottom of your card base. Kind of different, huh? Yeah, you're gonna love it, I promise. Deborah says she is using some very old designer series paper that she was hoarding. You guys, stop hoarding your paper. You need to cut it and use it. Okay, let's see. Let me scroll down a little bit. Um, Dorothy, Dorothy Aspert says she always has plenty of paper. That's not a problem. <laughs> um, Barbie says she gets her ideas from me and others. You know what, guys? When you share your cards over on Mystery Stamping or Pinterest or Instagram, uh, we do have a hashtag Mystery Monday Stampers. If you want to tag us, um, then I will find you over there. Uh, Michelle says, I've got the splatter from Gathered Wheat. See? Perfect. Renee says, phew, made it back. Good thing I could watch on the TV. Oh, gosh. Oh, but Renee, get me off the TV. <laughs> Renee, so funny. Hey, I thought you said you couldn't watch me on the TV. Lavina says, is this card portrait or landscape? Yep. It can be whatever you want. <laughs> okay, so I did that landscape. So I said top right, bottom, uh, kind of bottom centered. What did I say? Bottom centered. Hold on. Bottom centered. Okay. Um, if your card is uh, portrait, top right. Bottom centered. Just I just want a little bit of splatter. Okay. So yeah, either way. Uh, let's see. Catherine chose the splatter stamp from Painted Poppies. Ooh, that was a good one. Uh, let's see. Hello, Snowy Mom. We're glad you're here. You're not late. You're fashionably late. You're fashionably on time. Um Polly Libby says she loves getting inspiration from everyone's cards. I do too. Um, for those of you who joined us on the retreat this past weekend, you know, I went live Thursday night. I went live Friday. I went live twice on Saturday. I took Sunday off. And now I'm back live with you guys on Monday here on my channel. So we had a great time at the um, retreat. And I'm just kind of reading through to see if anybody... <laughs> Renee says, it's like having me in the living room with her when she has me on her TV. Mm -hmm. Oh, gosh. Oh, you couldn't watch me on the TV for the retreat. Well, there's that. <laughs> Renee and I give each other a hard time all the time. Renee helps me proof and make sure that my mystery clues, I've got the right measurements. I didn't number wrong. She stepped up one day, gosh, it's been months now, and said, you know, I don't mind checking out your clues before you go live. And I'm like, really? Okay. Because having another set of eyes to proof anything is always a good idea. Okay. When you guys are done with clue, type done too. Oh, Catherine says it was a fantastic retreat. Hello, Barbara Witzel from New Hampshire. I'm glad you like my top. It's from Soft Surroundings. We love live Sharon. <laughs> Uh, Catherine made some Hanukkah cards during the retreat. That's awesome. Okay, how are we doing? Am I seeing any done twos? There we go. I'm down at the bottom. Um, Mary Moat said, great retreat. I think it was too. <clears throat> Debbie Aldridge said that the retreat was fantastic. Mm, I like that. Clue number three. I want you to add the colored cardstock that is three inches by four and a quarter to the card front in the center with adhesive. Let's get our card again. So if our card goes this way, 
we're putting our colored cardstock that way because it's four and a quarter. Four and a quarter would it would go side to side. It mm, it would work if that's what you want to do. If you want to turn it this way, if your card is landscape, then it would go the same way um, because we've got three inches by four and a quarter. Okay. Um, Keith. Keith Ann Hurt is asking, what do I need to do to get clue number one? What a wonderful question. I should have answered that in the beginning. If you want to get the first clue every Sunday um, but at 3 p.m. Central, so whatever time zone you're in, the best way to get it is below the video, sign up for my newsletter. I send out the newsletter, um, send out the email every Sunday at 3 p.m. Uh, Central to give you that first clue. I realized tonight that because I was so tired from the retreat, I did not post it on the Facebook group. Um, sometimes I post it on the Facebook group. Most of the time I do, but this time I didn't. But always you will get it in an email. So look below the video. Um, if you're on a desktop or a laptop, you so it says uh, see more, show more. If you're on a mobile device like a phone or a tablet, look up, there's a, a little drop down arrow and you should be able to see below the video. Linda Carver says, hello from Idaho. Good evening. Couldn't, couldn't cut traveling. So just watching. She is saving the clue. Michelle says she's already mailed some of her, several of her creative eight retreat cards. Now she's got to make more. There you go. All right. Um, I recommend too, that if you guys are new to my channel, that you subscribe to my, to my channel and then ring that notification bell. You'll be notified when I go live like this on Monday night at 7 p.m. Central, or I go live or upload a video on Thursday nights. So let's talk about Thursday night. Mm -hmm. I was supposed to go live, but instead I'm going to make it a video. It's going to be a premiere. You're going to be able to see it and you're going to be able to still chat because mm -hmm. you guys love to chat. You guys love to chat. By the way, if you're watching the replay, you do not need to type the words done two, done three. Just simply stop and start the video and make your card. All right. Clue number four. Add the piece of DSP that measures two and seven eighths by four and a quarter to the colored cardstock with liquid glue since you have a very small border. We have a very thin border around our... Uh, designer series paper that's going to be on the cardstock. So we want to make sure that we use a liquid glue, like the multi-purpose glue, so that we can wiggle it around and get it in the right spot. When you're done with clue number four, type done four. Uh, let's see. I see Renee is keeping somebody entertained over there. Hello, Gail Ottawa. How are you from Australia? Uh, let's see. Barbara says, I found a splatter stamp from Stampin' Up! from 1997. Okay, that was the year that I joined Stampin' Up! How fun is that? I'm glad you hung on to it, too. Um, come on, all. Like, you know the card's going to be great, says Mary Moat. Absolutely. Renee also recommends setting alarm with alerts on your phone as well. It definitely comes in handy when you are doing something else. Oh, my phone has a Renault. Oh, so let's just talk about our phone. Mm -hmm. Had to do the update, the latest update on my iPhone. Went to go put on focus or do not disturb so I could go live. They changed it. I'm praying that it's on. I think it's on, but what a mess. Why do they have to update things and change it? <laughs> but I do have an alarm on my phone because if I get busy, I, I know you guys are waiting on me to go live. And it's like, oh boy. Um, Kate Wright says she is done for, but not done for. <laughs> That's too funny. Sherilyn Ann said that it was her first creative aid. And, a, and at first I had some frustration at the beginning, but then I found out how to use the hub. We have a retreat website hub. And so I was glad that I hung in there. It was so much fun and I learned so much. Love, love, love it. There you go. Thank you. Sherilyn, if you were frustrated, why don't you reach out to me, girlfriend? 
All right. Okay, so um, Alt Glow Dav, Dav, Alt Glow Dav doesn't like the new focus either. Thank you. I'm going to have to go Google what does all that mean? Like I just went ahead and put on there from 7 to 8 p.m. every night this week. Don't bother me. <laughs> I didn't know what else to do. Now, what about Thursday night, says Debbie Aldridge? So I need to go out of town. We are going to Gilmer, Texas, to the Yamboree. And it's my grandson's birthday. So I decided I am going to be doing... Um, I am going to be doing a video. I'm going to be showing you some awesome cards. Actually, I might even do a sneak peek tonight. Y'all want to see a sneak peek of Thursday night's cards? Mm -hmm. I know you do. I know you do. Um, and so I'm going to do it like a premiere. It's going to look like a live and you guys will be able to chat. There you go. You're welcome. Um, Debbie's been to Gilmer. So have you been to the Yamboree? I'm going to the Yamboree. All right. Clue number five. I want you to stamp a greeting on white or vanilla cardstock, uh, your scrap piece, uh, scrap piece with ink. You know, I've started throwing in vanilla on some of my clues because we forget about vanilla. We do. You Stamping on very vanilla or basic white is really good. You get good crisp images and it always looks really good. Uh, Deborah says, nope, nope, hadn't been to the Yamboree. Well, the Yamboree is quite the thing. Let me tell you, the kids get out of school the whole week. <laughs> it's a big deal. So it's like the harvest of the yam. So it's been going on for years. I don't even know if they harvest the yams now at this time of year. But anyway, that's what it started. So when you guys are done with clue number five, type done five. See, Dorothy's using vanilla. See? Um, oh, Barbie wants to see Thursday night's cards. Mm -hmm. Is that it? Nobody else wants to see. Hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing anybody else. It's just Barbie. Oh, wait. There we go. There we go. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. There we go. Lavina, I said yam berry. You know, yam like sweet potatoes, yam? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Not jamboree, yamboree. I got a t-shirt and everything. I'll have to show y'all my t-shirt. <laughs> Always want a sneak peek. Delina says, yes, this is the season for harvesting yams. Mm -hmm. So um, it's a big deal in Gilmer. They have the yam, yamboree queen and her court. And there's two parades. It's a big deal. So, yes, we're going to the Amberine. Sneak peek of the cards. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Let's go on to the next clue. And then I will go find my cards. Mm -hmm. I have a container over there that says Thursday night, mystery Monday night. Mm -hmm. Two containers. Number six, cut out your greeting with punches, dies, or your paper trimmer. Okay. Okay. When you're done with clue number six, type done six. New York, North Carolina is the yam capital of the U.S. Delina, do they have a yamboree? Dana says, hello. She is late, had to stop by the store on her way home from work. We'll watch the replay after I get home. Yes, yams are sweet potatoes. Well, hmm, I don't know. I think there are two different things, but they look the same. I don't know. If I talk to the people in Gilmer about yams, I bet they tell me they're not sweet potatoes. <laughs> All right, let me go find my cards. Vicki says, yes, let's see your shirt. I don't have the shirt yet. I have to go get it at my daughter's house. 
They are different. Yams are not sweet potatoes, says Margaret. Okay. Are y'all ready to see Thursday night's cards? All right. First of all, who's done with six? Let's make sure everybody's done with six. We have about 190 joining us. <gasps> Joanne is here. That's okay that, that you're late. Just sit back, watch the rest of it. Let's solve this mystery of this card. And then, okay, so North Carolina does have a yam festival. There you go. Mary Yates says, yes, she wants to see my cards. Ah, uh, Virginia says they have a pumpkin festival in Alberta. There you go. See, Snowy Mom always forgets to use vanilla too. There you go. And she has a lot of it. Are you using it tonight? All right. Looks like we're done with six. Uh, Delina says many towns and cities have yamborees. No, it is a no, it is a coll collegial localized title for the same veggie. Okay. All right. Now that we have solved the mystery of the yamboree and the yams and the sweet potatoes, um, Michelle says I was making a stamp and got covered in ink, so I needed time. So I need time. Oh, well, there you go. Delina has a pickle festival in North Carolina. Okay, who's ready to see the um, sneak peek? Look at all these cards. You're going to learn to make 12 cards quickly. And you know what? They're pretty. I'm going to show you one. This is your sneak peek. Are you ready? Da -da -da. Isn't that gorgeous? And there's more just like it inside. Okay. There you go. Okay. Hold on. I'm seeing that somebody says my clue was off. Um, designer series paper was two and seven eighths by four and an eighth. Did I have it typed wrong? Hold on. Who said that? Um, uh, that is a lot of cards. Who said? Okay. All right. Rita says instructions say DSP is two and seven eighths by four, but your clue said four and a quarter. Uh oh, Renee, did we screw up? See, sometimes even when you have, I did add the, no, add the colored card stock that was four and a quarter. Hold on. And then I did. You're right. That should be four and an eighth. Renee, 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 we both did it. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let's get our marker. Let's get our Sharpie. Let's fix that so that you all watching the replay, that should be four and an eighth. And guess what? When y'all download your clue that's already loaded on my website at 8 p.m. Central, so in about, 20, about 30 minutes, you'll be able to go and download the clues over on my blog. All right, so we were done on six. Okay, let's go back down. Did y'all like my cards? The cutting measurements are correct. You're right. It's my uh, clue that was wrong. Yams are cooked sweet potatoes. Really? Oh, did y'all like my cards? Yes. Okay, Lavina says, I'll be tuning in for sure. Snowy Mom says, wow, so pretty. Mm -hmm. You wait till you see them all. And you're going to go, wait, she did 12 cards at, in like 30 minutes. Stop it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you because it's perfect when you're doing Christmas cards. We usually make a ton of Christmas cards. Um, okay. So you guys are loving my card. And Susan has that stamp set. So Susan, I can see you making these cards. All right, let's move on to clue number seven. I don't know. Maybe I'll let you see another card. Stick with me, guys. Clue number seven. Create a mat for your greeting layer. If your greeting layer was basic white, I want you to use basic white. If your greeting layer was very vanilla, I want you to use very vanilla. But do not adhere them together yet. I just want you to create that mat. So if you used a punch, if you used a die, if you used a paper trimmer... Um, oh, there goes Deborah. Deborah Clary says her Christmas cards are done. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? You still want to learn this trick about making a bunch of cards at one time because what else do we always need? Birthday cards. We need 
sometimes we need a lot of thank you cards. Um, it could actually to make 12 cards, it could be a, an assortment of cards. It could be some thank you, some birthday, some Christmas, some. So yeah, you guys need this video on Thursday night. Cindy Wagner says, lovely card. Can't wait to see more of them. All right, we're back to yams. Yams do not make good sweet potato pie. So I'm thinking they're different. All right, somebody needs to go Google. Um, what's the difference between yams and sweet potatoes and come back and talk to us? Lavina says, we are using a white mat behind a white greeting. I'm confused. Yes, ma'am. You are. Crazy, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Crazy. Trust me. But Deborah says she needs more Christmas card ideas. So there you go. Because there's always next Christmas. Mm -hmm. Renee says yams are not sweet. Okay. All right. Cheryl says, I thought I read somewhere. The only difference between yams and sweet potatoes is where they're from or grown. Um, Chantal wants to know what is a mat? Do I? Okay. A mat here, since I showed you this card. This is a mat. This layer behind the white is a mat. We call that a mat. So I want you to have a white mat for your white layer or a very vanilla mat for your very vanilla layer. When you're done with clue number seven, type done seven. I'm going to look to see which other one I want to show you. Okay. I might show you this one. I uh, know. I'm going to show you a different one. Yep. I'm going to show you that one. I'm so mean. I've got 12 cards here and I'm just sifting through them to decide. Yep. Here I found one. I'll show it to you at the end. Uh oh, did I lose my card for tonight? There we go. Okay. All right. You, I'm seeing some duns with seven like a frame says Michelle. Michelle, you should be doing these clues. <laughs> That's a great way to describe it. It's like a frame. Um, okay, so I'm seeing some duns with seven. There you go. Um, my holiday cards are not done, so I started. So I can use all the help I can get, says Cheryl. Okay. All right, so Kate says yams are starchy and a rough brown exterior, mostly from Latin America. Sweet potatoes are a new world root veggie and creamier. Kate, if they're from Latin America, I'm going to the Yammery in Texas. <laughs> I can see that I'm going to have to do a report and a blog post on Yammery. When I get back, I'll take lots of pictures and I'll share about the Yammery. Oh, wait, Patricia says sweet potatoes have reddish orange skin and inside while yams have brownish skin and white inside, white besides, white inside. Yams are mostly starchy tasting like sweet tasting than sweet potatoes. Okay. Deborah says that I have piqued your curiosity. Clue number eight. I want you to use the colored cardstock scrap and leaves dye. I asked you to have some kind of leaves, like a dye that cuts out leaves. Um, and cut out some leaves with your die cutting machine. When you're done with clue number eight, type done eight. All right, Renee, here she comes. She says, most yams are imported from Africa and are not sweet. Most sweet potatoes are from the U.S. with half being from North Carolina. And the other half from Gilmer, Texas. It's going to be my argument. <laughs> Um, Lavina says, well, you are right across the border from Latin America. <laughs> it's very true. Have you heard about that wall and all those immigrants? We are not going to go there. We are not going to go there. Donna Gilman says, I've made over 300 Christmas cards for the VA hospital. And now she needs new ideas. Well, Donna, tune in Thursday night and I hope it helps you. Okay. Everybody's saying that's what I found out from Google. They are also a different shape. Can the mat be the same size as the greeting? Asked Robin. You won't be able to see it if you do it the same size. It needs to be a little bit bigger. Um, sweet uh, Renee says sweet potatoes are called that because they are sweet and potatoes. 
Makes sense. Makes sense. We are on a roll, says Helen, with Chris, with holiday cards. But then we moved, and I'm at a standstill. And then come back on Thursday night at 7 p.m. Central and get these ideas because I think it's going to help you all go, what? You got to be kidding. Okay. All right. Cheryl says, Donna G. Oh, so you guys are checking. Okay. Um, okay. So Enoch used the double oval greeting for hers. Okay. Oval, double oval punch for her greeting. Perfect. All right. Are you guys done with clue number eight? Mary Moat is cutting her mat with pinking shears. Mm -hmm. I should add that to the clue. You could use snips or pinking shears. <laughs> Cheryl Ann says, I am from the Caribbean and our sweet potatoes are light blue. Blue and very sweet and yams are totally different. Okay. How many leaves? Up to you, Deborah. Depends on what size leaves you're doing. We're going to be adding these to our card front. You know, you could maybe cut out maybe one or two and then go, when the card's all done, you go, ah, it needs another one. Or, oh, it doesn't need two. I don't know. I don't know which ones you're using. Fran says, I'm so far behind compared to everyone making Christmas cards. I haven't even finished watching all the retreat videos. That's okay, Fran. I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you this great idea on Thursday night. And I literally made and decorated all these cards. Now I had to design them. So give me, give me a chance here in an hour and a half. So that was 12 cards in an hour and a half. Okay. I'm going to talk to you all about it on Thursday night. Virginia says I might add some evergreen sprigs. I'll have to wait and see what you're doing. There you go. Okay. All right. Virginia says she's barely even started Christmas cards. Clue number nine. I want you to add the die cut leaf or leaves to the right side of the card front on the designer series paper layer with adhesive. Where's that other sneak peek card? Asked Mary Catherine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll show you the sneak peek card at the end. <laughs> Roxanne says she is still making Halloween cards. I mean, we got to take... Some of these holidays we do have to take, you know, we got Halloween coming up, we got Thanksgiving coming up, but those Christmas cards, you know, if you wait till too late, like the holidays get us so busy and then they don't get in the mail. That's how I find. Michelle says, um, I've been playing with my leaves, trying to figure out how they're going to look. Okay. Well, you know, like I said, you may end up adding more leaves or taking some off. Just depends on what leaf you used. When you see my card, it's, you're going to go, okay, that's what I need to do. All right, when you're done with clue number nine, type done nine. I wonder why my screen looks blue tonight. Do y'all notice that? This looks blue. Oh, let's see. It's probably that that update on my phone has made a different color, right? Isn't it blue? I think it's blue. I've got the same lights on. So crazy. All right. Uh, let's see. Claudia says, I love sweet potato fries. They are better than yams, and I've never heard of yam fries. Have you? I have not. You're absolutely right, Claudia. Sweet potato fries. Debbie Wilson says, my husband grows sweet potatoes. They are the size of footballs. We're from Kentucky. I tried to send you a picture, but you can't on here. No, you're right, Debbie. You can't. Okay. It does look blue. I'm sure it's the update on that phone. I just noticed it. How come you guys didn't tell me? How come your screen's blue? We got to figure that out. Huh. Interesting. Okay. All right. Clue number 10. I want you to add the basic white or very vanilla mat to the center of the designer series paper on the card front. It's okay if you're overlapping the leaf or leaves that you already added. Okay, so we have leaves and we're adding our mat. Okay, and I'm going to go see why my little puppy Pippi is yapping. Mm -hmm. When you're done with clue number 10, type done 10.
<laughs> okay, that mystery's been solved. Yeah, Mary says, yeah, looks a little blue. I wonder if we add, let's turn on this light. Uh, it's a lighter blue. Um, Cheryl says she can hardly wait to see my card. And and Phyllis from La La's Craft says, bless you. I sneeze just as I come around the corner. I go, excuse me. And I didn't know if y'all, oh, y'all all heard me. <laughs> Jane Strain says she is done with 10. Clue number 11. Add the vellum piece to the card over the basic white mat by adding adhesive to the center only. Note, you will be overlapping the leaf or leaves, but since it's vellum, you can see through it, so it's okay. If you do not have vellum, skip this clue. Renee, what do you think they're doing with this? Vicki says it's the lighting on your camera. The way you place it on the set, try to adjust to get the blue away. You know, I have the camera on the same stand as it's always been. I have the same lighting in here. Nothing has changed as far as I'm concerned, but I have a feeling it is due to the update because see the closer I get, like when you watch my hand, it's focusing it's like it's too far away and it turns blue. I'll Google it. I'll fix it for the next time. I know, right, Renee? It's hard to say what they're going to do about this. When you're done with clue number 11, type done 11. Uh, I lost you. Okay, so let's back up a little bit. We have, hmm, okay, okay. Where's my card I already showed y'all? All right, so this is the card I already showed you. So we're going to pretend, oh, I, don't, I, can't, I can't do it with this. We're going to pretend this is our vellum. It's not. But it's okay if you're covering something up with the vellum is what I'm trying to say. Is that where I lost you, Ain't it? Um, I tell you what, if you're stuck, we're almost done. So just sit back and wait, okay? So Vicki says, sometimes good updates and sometimes bad updates. I agree. It has to be the update on my phone. I mean, it just happened. Go back to 10. Add the basic white. Let's see. I'm going to put this up closer. Yeah, it's still blue. Add the basic white or very vanilla mat to the center of the designer series paper on the card front. It's okay if you're overlapping the leaf or leaves that you already added. Now we're adding a piece of vellum over that mat. Uh, I, Eileen is just watching tonight because she caught a cold. I'm so sorry. I hope you feel better quickly. And I'm glad that you are just um, taking care of yourself and just chillaxing just rest get lots of rest um i'm telling you it is not the bulb you guys I, have y'all ever seen my lighting here <laughs> do you see how my face is my face is not blue mm -hmm. i have got this huge huge light over me um you're putting it over your this piece the mat that you use for your greeting, okay? It's going to go between the mat and your greeting. All right, let's go to the next one and see if this helps. Add the greeting layer to your card front with dimensionals. So we've got our mat. Where's our vellum? We've got some vellum. That's not as big a piece, but so we've got our mat. We've got our, our mat. This is our mat right here. This is our vellum. And then this is our greeting. <laughs> You'll see in just a minute, I promise. 
Um, hello, Susan Hammond, watching from Theodore, Alabama. Yes, please come back and watch the, or please rewatch the, uh, the vellum. We're on the vellum. Go back to the beginning and watch if you're just now joining us because this card, um, Deborah says, why am I not doing a card along with everyone to show each step? Um, Deborah, because this is called mystery stamping and this is a different way of doing card making. Sometimes I do have props, which is what I call that. Um, your vellum is two inches by three and a half. I'm going to push this up here. Two inches by three and a half. Okay. Your card is done. You may not think so, but we have solved the mystery of our card. Okay. Um, and the person who asked, Deborah asked why I wasn't doing a card along with it. I have asked my mystery stampers if they want me to stamp along with them and they don't. So it's just a unique way of making a card where I give you all the clues. All right, let's just solve this mystery. And hopefully if you, if you got lost on that, on those last two clues, it all makes sense. Now, when you see my card, do you see the vellum? Okay. So this is my basic white layer. This is my greeting layer. This is my vellum. Here is my greenery. Okay. You can still see through the vellum, but this is my card. Michelle says she loves her card. Well, I love this card too. Let me tell you why I love this card so much. I didn't make it. I received this card from Sarah Douglas from Stampin' Up! And I loved it. I was like, oh, what a perfect mystery card. Um, so that is my card for this week. Linda says that she will enjoy creating a card off of these clues when I get stuff ready. And Katie loves my card. Virginia loves her card. Christina Wright says, beautiful card. It is a beautiful card. Um, I, Michelle says she almost used those leaves. I gave you a clue when I said, let's go back to the first clue. Leaves if you have the Stampin' Up! artistic dies. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Gave you the first clue right there. <laughs> All right, I told you that I would also show you another card from Thursday night. Look at that. Mm -hmm. So let's push this up. Well, let's do them side by side. Here's our mystery card. Here is one of my cards from Thursday night. And then we've already showed you this one. So you got two sneak peeks from Thursday nights. Um class. We'll call it a class. You guys like to call it a class. Um, I have to go out of town. So I'm going to upload, I'm going to make a video and I'm going to upload it like a premiere is what it's called. And then you will be able to chat in the chat box because that's what you guys love to do. And um, I'm reading comments here, looking forward to the Thursday night class. Um, I think I will tell y'all, um, let's see. So we're on the Thursday night class. I think somebody asked, what is it called? Um, light, brightest, brightest lights, brightest glow, and then lights a glow. It's the Christmas bundle that's in the mini catalog. Um, okay. How are we doing? Did everybody get their card made? Okay, if your vellum is curling, let's see. I just added a, why is your vellum cur curling? Okay, so let's go back to the card. So the, this vellum is not adhered down, but if your vellum is curling, um, I don't have my sponge here. You can, um, you can add a little bit of adhesive right here, but you want to use a sponge to add that liquid glue. Um, I wouldn't recommend using a glue dot or anything like that because you're going to be able to see through it, just like my nail, okay? 
Oh, yay. Somebody, Carol went rogue. There you go. I'm so glad. And Chantal went rogue. I'm so glad. I'm so glad that you guys um, went rogue. All right. So we have a Facebook group, uh, TX Stampin' Mystery Stampers Facebook group, if you want to post your card over there. Um, I um, have my, let's see, in about 10 minutes, you will have all of the clues that you can download over on the blog. You'll be able to see my card up close a little bit better. And Thursday night, 7 p.m. Central, you guys jump on like at six if you want and start talking like you like to do. And I will see you guys next Monday in person live on next week's Mystery Monday Stamping. So hope you guys have a great week.